Hey neighbors, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Happy New Year, welcome to 2020. Did you know there's a passage in the Bible, it's Isaiah chapter 43, that says, forget the former things, do not dwell on the past, see, I am doing a new thing. Kinda sounds like a New Year's resolution, doesn't it? Did you make a New Year's resolution for 2020? Well, maybe you did, uh, but you've probably made one in the past, right? Even if you didn't make one this year, you're still familiar with the concept. And if I asked you, uh, what do you think are the most popular resolutions? Like of your average American, what do you think are the most popular ones? You'd probably say lose weight or get in shape, uh, quit smoking or spend more time with family or spend more time with friends or spend more time with yourself, free up, right? Free up some time, get organized, uh, travel, uh, save money, get out of debt, be less stressed. Those are the popular ones, yeah. And you've probably made one of those before in the past as well. Wouldn't it be nice? Wouldn't it be nice to actually succeed in one of those areas? I mean, this is why they're so popular. This is why we go to those every single time is because those are the things that we want in life. So if that's something we really want to do, if those are the things we really want in life, why do you think it's so hard for us to change? Well, it's usually because we have some sort of rut or some sort of circular habit that we kind of fall into. And once we fall into that old system, it kind of kicks out the new system. I mean, think about it. That's the crux of it all. It's the habits we fall into. This is why the majority of us don't change. We fall into our rut or our habit, whether it's good or bad, and it's the changing that habit, it's the breaking that habit, that's the real obstacle to making steps towards being the person we wanna be. And really all habits are, are a loop, right? It's a circle that you get inside of and then you can't get out. Usually the circle begins with some sort of trigger. There's a smell or something we see or something we want that triggers this craving and that craving makes us respond in some way. And usually when we respond, then we get rewarded and the reward makes us feel good. And that reward then becomes associated with the trigger. And it happens over and over and over again. This is why habits are tough to break and it's tough to start new ones. This Sunday at Walden Church, we wanna talk about becoming that person that you wanna be in 2020 and how we can not only break the bad habits, but develop good ones. We've got two opportunities for worship. We have our 9.30 service, which is our traditional service with a choir and we sing hymns. And then we have our 11 o'clock service with our worship team and we sing more contemporary worship songs. And we have a full children's program from birth all the way through high school at 11 o'clock also. Hey, we wanna be your local church. I'll see you Sunday.